In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a transparent header for a couple of the pages on your website with Beaver Themer. As you can see here on this page, I've created a new header layout for my theme, and I've assigned it to two locations. I've assigned it to my home page, and I've assigned it to my about page. So those two pages are going to pick up this header. So that's the first thing you'll want to do is create your header layout and then choose where you want it to show up. If you really wanted to, you can choose to have it show up on your entire site or maybe one of these other locations like for all your posts and things like that. But um, for this demo, we'll show how you can get a transparent header uh, going on just a couple pages. So once you have that set up, you can go over and click Edit Theme Layout. And to save a little bit of time, I've already put this together for us and we'll just take a look at a couple things here on doing this. Um, the first thing I want to do is connect the row background to the featured image. So that way on the home page and about page, I can choose different images to show up um, by just setting the standard featured image in WordPress. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and insert your logo and menu and customize those. You can add a separator um, if you want. Um, and you know, do, do whatever design generally you want to get it the way um, you want it to look. Once you've done that, um, you'll see here that I have a heading and a subheading. And the way that I got the text to show up in these is using a custom field connection. And to show you that, I'll just go ahead and pop this open. And you'll see the key I have here for this one is main heading. And then the key I have for the subheading is just subheading. And so that's pulling those custom fields from that post. And in a second here, I'll show you um, how to um, do that. But as you can see, if I go over to my, uh, my homepage here and preview that, it's gonna pull in the data that I've set up for the homepage. And so to be able to, once you've got your, your um, header done, just go ahead and publish it. And to be able to set up this data, it's pretty simple. Um, just go ahead and go over to your page and see I have my home page here. And you'll see down here I've set my featured image. And then you'll see in the custom fields uh, meta box here, I've added a field for made heading and I put my heading in there and then subheading and I put my subheading in there. And if you're not seeing this, you just go up to the screen options and make sure custom fields is checked. And again, if I go over to my about page, same deal. I got the same data set up, it's just different. And let's go take a look at our website. And now you'll see my homepage has the transparent header that I built for the theme layout. And if I go to my about page, it's got the, the header as well. But if I go to other pages on my website, it has my default header. So that transparent header is only going to show up on the pages that I want it to show on. And again, I have my contact page here. Didn't assign a transparent header to it. And that's it. That's how you build a transparent header using theme layouts. Thanks for watching.